Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are here in Diamond City. It's a brand new day. It's a potentially stormy day, but hopefully those clouds hold off. We are here with Nick, and we are going to take a vertebird out to South Boston or someplace. So, let's. Let's get on with it. I I sold a bunch of the guns that Nick was carrying. Actually, all of them. Except my... Um, laser musket. For some reason, he's carrying my laser musket. I don't know why. I don't remember giving it to him. Is it raining? Head on inside. It wasn't raining inside there. <laughs> Oh, anyways, let's go up where there's room to call a vertebrate to us. And then we'll head off to... I don't know. So we need to go to South Boston. We need to go to... Some other places. Too, so... Okay. This should be good. This should be absolutely fine. Vertibird signal grenade. All right, this ought to work. Just right out here. Better regular ones back. So I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get here. I don't know where the railroad's actually storing these things. The the, the vertebrae, actually. Oh, there it is. It's been close by. <laughs> you ever been in a vertebrae, Nick? Well, now is your chance. Here we go. Let's. I, I want to take the gun side. You take the other side, okay? I know. Let's bow down the raider scum. No. Oh no. Oh, did he kill the pilot? <gasps> Killed the pilot! Uh oh, we're gonna crash, Nick! What did I just. Uh oh. I think that's a. a rad stag. Yeah, hey! Nick, where are you? Are you in here with me? He killed the pilot! <laughs> Get dead! Get dead! Die! Stop attacking! I'm not gonna get out with that thing there like that. He's not in my line of fire. I can't... This is absolutely insane. Come on! What is wrong with you? Ow! Well, uh, that was one for the records, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let's do this again. <sighs> Nick, I foresaw a horrible thing. I foresaw great craziness and stuff. 
in regards to this very bird. Hopefully, what the thing I foresaw didn't come doesn't come true. There were raiders coming from over here, and they killed the pilot. And then the the vertebrate was destroyed by a rad stag. That's just, I, I yeah, I know. It's a, it was a weird dream I had. It was quite the weird dream. Keep an eye out for raiders, Nick. I think they are right there. Got him. Good. No, there's one left. Okay. Doing them much good at this point. Nope. There's that Molotov that he threw and killed the pilot with. Alright, let's get on board. I'm taking the gun side. You take the other side. Alright, you okay up there, pilot? Let's do this. Where should we go, Nick? Huh? Which one should we go to first? Should we go down here? No, we don't actually have any uh, nearby locations to travel to. Well, I guess... Actually, we could go to Mercer's safe house and then walk down there. It's not that far. And then we could also walk from Mercer's safe house to this one. Possibly. But I do want to take a vertebrate out to this one. That, 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 that would be far away. Okay. Alright, let's do that. Let's go down to Mercer's safe house. Okay. Take off. Well, they found a guy that pilot. The deacon barely knew how to do it. Oh, too bad it's a rainy, cloudy day. I can't really see very far. So, Nick, what do you think, huh? How do you like flying in a bird? bird? <laughs> Beats running in the rain any day, right? That was a quick ride, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, stick around close by. We're probably gonna need you later, huh? Drink any of that without a dose of rabbits, of course. No, of course not. What's going on over there? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so how's it going here in Mercer Safe House? Probably nothing. I mean, what? I don't think anyone actually lives here, do they? Oh, haven't been back here since I used this thing. It did get blown up. I said it did, but... Wow, I'm surprised I didn't die. <laughs> surprised, indeed. Is that... Um, what's his name? Is that... Um, caretaker? I don't know how much more I got of this. What? Hey, caretaker. Yeah, yeah. Hi, and whatever. Okay, nothing. I just... Hi. I didn't die, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, so, Nick. Let's plot the course. Looks like we can just follow the main highway over. And it will take us right to Quincy. Now this... 
Quincy is actually where Preston and them were before they ended up in um, there's the highway before they ended up at Sanctuary um, apparently raiders drove them out of Quincy or something like that I don't know I didn't hear all the details but they're probably still encamped in there oh let's walk under this yeah, that'd be nice. Wouldn't have to get soaked. Totally. Theoretically, anyway. There's not a whole lot of it left. Let's, uh, keep, it's dangerous out here. Let's be careful. Raiders. Oh, a quarry. Let's not, huh? Quincy is this way. But we have no reason to go over there and mess with raiders. Right? You're on a mission. And besides, we're probably gonna have plenty of raiders once we get there. Okay. Is this it? I think this is it. Alright. Yes it is. Okay. Let's be careful. There are likely baddies. Uh huh. There's one right there. Well, let's make sure they're baddies before we go shooting them up. But they probably are. They probably are, though. I mean, they took over Quincy and then uh, yeah, killed everyone, drove out the rest of them, and now they have control of this place. So, I'm sure they're baddies. Oh, they're gunners. All right, let's just do a quickie. Nick, you ready to kill some gunners? I sure am. All right, here we go. Something out there. Oh, that guy's tough. the laser from the team. Oh, there he is. Whoa. Mm. Alright, let's get that guy out on his AP. Nick, take better cover than that. Oh Nick. Well, at least I can use Nick as bait.
Oh ho ho. these bad guys at the back. Sure. No! Oh, I got hit in the head. Oh no, one has power armor. Okay, let's take cover somewhere else. Maybe in here. All right, need to get that guy with the power armor. All right, no wonder the Minutemen lost. These guys are tough. And there's a lot of them. All right. Let's see if I can get the drop on him. There you are. Now, Nick, remember the rules of sneaking? Hmm? I don't know if you do. Oh, seriously? It didn't even... Phase the person here. <laughs> What's that? She's like, oh, what? Okay. Got another one. better this time. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? We sure would. Where did that power armor dude go? Gotta get him more than anybody else. All right, well, let's sneak around and come in at, from a different angle. That would probably be best. I don't see him. Settler and a dead Brahmin. Okay, now I know there's a turret. Right there. Ranger. All right. Excuse me. All are welcome, <laughs> the gunners. All are welcome to come and die here. If they so please. Kill him? We did not kill them all, surely. 
power armored guy is around here somewhere. Fenton's food stuff. Stuffs. I am not seeing anybody. It's kind of creepy. So they actually had like regular stores and stuff here then. Huh? Nick. Uh, excuse me. Can you back up? Keep going. Keep going. Awful vulnerable here. Okay, yeah, I know. Shush. Why don't we get up high? Getting up high might be a good idea. Okay. I always think of McCready when I see 50 caliber ammo. Wonder where everyone went. Well then. No, oh, there's somebody up there on the roof. Okay. Well, maybe we can get up on the roof. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right down there. Okay. Right. There's a guy way over there on that side. Oh. We can go up onto the overpass. Nick, get Watch down. Your step. Get down, sneak. Come on. I don't know if there's anybody left up here. I killed a bunch. But, but that doesn't mean I killed them all. They're just the ones I killed. I don't see any more. if that's a person over there or not. No, it's not. I think there's no one else up here. They must want to protect something long or precious. Um, probably just, you know, the whole settlement. Once they get the the spot, they don't want to give it up. This is a pretty good vantage point, though. Alright, I don't think there's anyone up here, Nick. I killed this guy. I don't think we're alone. Step. How are we doing on the hunt? What do you think? What do you think, huh? What do you think how we're doing on the hunt for Eddie Winter? We are on the hunt for Eddie Winter as we speak. Now, I I had a premonition, Nick, that there's nobody up on this platform, this this thing here, this um 
Someone was expecting trouble. They're asking. They're asking for it. They are asking for it. So, I had a premonition that there is nobody on this overpass, but that the guy on that roof right there has a, uh, heh. He's got a missile launcher. So let's kill him before he has a chance to use it. What's that? Wait, look, look, look. <laughs> he got you good? With what? What did he get you with? He wasn't shooting anything. Oh no, now he's got a mini nuke? Oh, there. Oh, there are people up above us. Uh oh. You liked that? He liked that I killed that guy. There's that power armored guy. How much you want to bet he's up on the top there? Tessa's hollow tape. Mini nuke missiles. Fat man. Missile launcher. Hmm. There's a guy over there. He's not the uh, power armored guy though. So where would the power armored guy be? What's that? Oh my goodness, they burned everybody? What? <laughs> These are just monsters. They just are monsters. power armor guy. That That's kind of a little bit not nice. I, I don't like knowing somebody's around somewhere, but you can't see them and you don't know where they went. Hmm, I wonder if anyone's inside this church. Okay, where'd that guy go? He was over here. I want to kill him. Well, now he's not even in sight anymore. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Move, Nick. Move, move, move. There's the power armor guy. He doesn't have... He doesn't have a helmet, but he is wearing a Minuteman hat of all things. Clint. I don't think we're alone. I know we're not. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do, Clint? You know what you deserve, Clint? What's it called? No, it's a fat man. Clint deserves something. I guess it's safe for now. Oh, I aimed a little bit too low. That power armor is something else. Move! Nick, move! I'm gonna shoot you with a nuke! Okay, here you go, Clint. Oh, this thing's got quite an arc on it. Can't really aim with these things, can you? 
Not that I've ever used one before, so, you know, pardon my aim or lack thereof. Oops, I hope no one was down there. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Where am I? I fell off. All right, Clint. There. There. Now, anyone else have anything to say about that? Hmm? Nick? Oh, I thought you jumped off. I know there was that one guy over there still. I can get him pretty easily with my sniper rifle though. I'm uh, pretty sure. Alright, let's go see what Clint has to say. Oh, I can't go through there. That's frustrating. Fusion cells. Militia hats. He's also wearing a Minuteman outfit. Was he actually a Minuteman? Okay, we just got one guy left to kill, I think. I'm pretty sure there's only one left. I used to get a fair number of clients from around here. Seems folks prefer being missing to living in Quincy. Hmm. Um, actually, let's go up. Because... This guy that we want to kill is up here. Is he? There he is. All right. All in a day's work. Although it was pretty tricky there for a bit. Uh. Okay. All right, Nick. Let's go down and look for this uh, Eddie Winter Hollow tape. Ooh, what do we have here? Vodka. Guns and there bullets. Oh, my favorite magazine. Gunner terminal. All right. Personal logs. Colonel Hollis. Shame I couldn't convince Colonel Hollis to see reason, but the attack plan worked all the same. Once we blew the support on the highway and took the high ground, there was nothing they could do. Garvey managed to escape with a group of the settlers, but the rest was just a bloodbath. I had them capture Colonel Hollis alive so I could prove to my new troops that I am done with the Minuteman. Even when I put the barrel to his head, he still refused to see that this is just how the world works. If you want to bring order out of the chaos, you need strength to do it. The Minutemen don't have it anymore. The gunners do. Captain West assures me that the troops he's given me in exchange for breaking the siege will obey the chain of command. But two of the more senior troops are proving difficult. So he betrayed the Minutemen. Preston. The detachment I sent after Garvey returned yesterday. They managed to pick off several more of the settlers before losing them in Jamaica Plains. Tessa is complaining that we left some of that we let some of them get away, but she's still thinking like a raider. The Minutemen are done. Colonel Hollis was the last leader they had of any worth, and Preston certainly isn't going to be leading a counterattack with a bunch of wounded men and children. Tessa and Baker. We've gotten our main camp set up on the freeway here, so we can't be taken the way the Minutemen were. And I managed to get the radio tied into an old tower to establish contact with GNN. Tessa and Baker had a long talk with Captain Wes, and while Baker has fallen into line, Tessa seems to be even more subordinate. Now that we're pretty well established and the troops are done setting up camp, I'm going to have to find other work for them to do. 
If they're busy, Tessa won't have time to rile them up. Maybe if I can keep her out of camp for a while, the others will follow Baker's lead and stop questioning my commands. Captain West also said to check with the medic to get my blood type tattooed. Seems unnecessary, but if the gesture will convince them, it's probably worth a bit of pain. <sighs> Intel. Quarry. Basically, they're just factory Adam Cats. Factory, what's this? This is just stuff that they're that they are um Okay. Intel from the area. Hello. What are you hiding? Huh. Alright. We'll just jump down right here. Okay. Well, so this used to be an intact... What? I couldn't hear you, Nick. So this was an intact... Um... Place, and they blew it. And... Then they took high ground and killed everybody. Who's this? Those don't look like gunners. Of course, yeah, we might not actually have killed everyone yet. There could be some people still around. But we got a lot of things to loot, definitely, and I'd like to explore the town a bit. No, we sure didn't kill them all. I can see one over there right now. Where'd he go? There's one right there. But that's not the one I saw, I don't think. How can I get over there? They didn't make bridges going every which way. Only some which ways. Here we go. I hear a turret. Somewhere. Turret somewhere. I can't see it, but I can hear it. Sounds like it's above me, but I'm just up there. Huh. Well, I sure don't see it anywhere. Oh well. Let's go over this way. What are the cages for, I wonder? Huh. Okay. What is this? Jet. I saw one go up inside where that lighted area is. Mama Murphy's note? I sent Sturgis to talk to Mayor Jackson about what I saw with the site. I mixed up another cocktail and I can feel it starting to take hold. I want to see if getting the mayor to call for help changes the vision. Sturgis and Jackson have been... probably trying to get me to stop using, but... Huh! So this was Mama Murphy's house? Really? Yeah, looks like... Looks like it. There was Jed on the nightstand. That's crazy to think about. This is actually where they lived. Before we came along. Before they came along to where we are, actually. Oh, Mama Murphy! Anything I can lug for you? Yes, please, actually. I'm... 
I just got over encumbered carrying Mama Murphy's stash of chems. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Um, if I got it. I need you to carry one of these huge weapons that I have, like this miss, uh, missile launcher and um, the fat man. Oh, you can't carry the fat man? Well, here. We will drop it, and then you will carry it. Hey, okay. there's something you need? Get that. Take that weapon. Good plan. Okay. Let's go up here. Make sure we got everybody. You know what I forgot to do when we were in Diamond City, Nick? I forgot to get more cat eye. Just noticed now that it's getting dark. I think I might have killed the the guy I saw. I think I think I killed him. Huh. Because he's not here anymore. Fenton's foodstuffs. I would have liked to have seen what this place was like when it was... Oh, they had a gun shop too! What? Yeah, I would have liked to have seen this place as a... as a going concern, you know? Alright, hey, let's get down right there. Can't see anything anymore. Well, if there are still guys here... I suppose they will uh, see me come get me. Hollis is terminal. So Colonel Hollis was the leader of the Minutemen at the time, I think? Setting up defenses. Looks like we got here just in time. We ended up taking a group of gunners from behind as we came into the town. Took out about a third, but at least a dozen ran off. Mayor Jackson was particularly, uh, practically in tears when we came up. Even let us use his own house as a barracks. Gotta say, it's nice to find the Minutemen welcomed, like we were back in the old days for a change. Preston has been helping them get some better walls up, and the town mechanic has been invaluable. He even has a couple suits of power armor. If he can get them up and running, it'd be a huge help. We don't have near enough manpower to hold the town if the gunners return in force, but I can't tell anyone that. I sent out word to try and get reinforcements from any other Minutemen out there. I hope at least Colonel Marbury will be willing to help. Status report. We've gotten the walls in pretty good shape and filled the stairwell at the monorail platform. I've had Sturgis working on getting some walkways set up across the rooftops. Figure if they manage to breach the wall, we may be able to retreat up there for a counterattack. The gunners attack almost daily now, but we've got food and supplies enough that we can probably wait them out. Unfortunately, my call for reinforcements has been disappointing. Not a single person has shown up. Betrayed. Today has been a terrible turn of events. One of our own, a ten-year veteran named Clint. Yeah, the guy. The guy in the power armor. Showed up at the gate. I thought at first that he had come to tell us reinforcements were on the way, but it turns out the bastard has changed sides. He's apparently leading this group of gunners who have been laying seat who've been laying siege. He actually had the nerve to try to convince the mayor and me to stand down. I politely informed him that there was not a chance in hell of that happening and what I would do to his traitorous ass if he showed up again. If someone of his experience is leading them, we'd better be ready for anything. <sighs> My, wow. Wow. Yeah, Preston did mention that they were betrayed. I think I looted that one. <laughs> That's weird. I did not loot this guy. Okay, let's see what else we got around here. For rent. Wow. Was all this rubble put here after they came? After they left? Because if they've been living here. With all this mess. Mm. Mm. I heard the turret. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I found it! Then <laughs> it found me too. Okay, well. Uh, 
Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on in here. All right. Gun shop, huh? Okay, looks like they had some... They also sell clothes. Aha! Oh. Requires a terminal, huh? Well, where's the terminal at? Were we up here before? I don't know. I just wanted to... Some ammo. Duct tape. Mm. I don't really need the duct tape, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's look upstairs. Or were we already up here? Yeah, this is Mama Murphy. Okay, Mama Murphy lived up above the gun shop, huh? Interesting. Okay. Blood. Looks like they dragged somebody out. Well, I still haven't found the. Uh, okay, there's a pharmacy. Oh. This is just a raider. I haven't found the police station yet. That is what I'm looking for here. So, this was just a store. Pharmacy that sells lots of other stuff, too. Okay. Oh, lo the Longs Terminal. Alright. So, the Longs ran this pharmacy then, huh? Marcy and June? June Long signed in. So, this is June's journal. I can't believe Mayor Jackson is actually trying to get the Minutemen out here based on Mama Murphy's drug-crazed hallucinations. Marcy tried to explain to him that she's just an old loon and we've been refusing to sell her chems anymore, but she's even got Sturgis convinced. Now we're going to have to board and feed a bunch of freeloaders with laser muskets for nothing in return. Kyle's all excited and I'm going to have to break it to him that the Minutemen aren't actually like the stories he's heard. Ha! <laughs> she was right. <laughs> Can't believe it, she was actually right. Sloane and Irma were working making repairs to the walls and saw them sneaking around by that old warehouse. We tried to scare them off, but they were still advancing on the monorail stairs. Then just when it looks like they are going to break through, the Minutemen actually showed up and drove them off. They're led by a man named Colonel Hollis, and Kyle is completely awestruck. Said he's going to join them when he gets older and has been following them around like a puppy. Huh. Kyle's hurt. I can't believe this. None of the reinforcements Colonel Hollis promised were on their way. Ugh. Colonel Hollis promised were on their way have shown up. The gunners have been trying to find a way to get through the wall daily now. To make matters worse, while Kyle was following the Minutemen patrols around, he caught a bullet in the leg. It only nicked the bone, but he's going to have trouble walking. If we even make it through this somehow. Ah, uh, something's up. Something's going on. We thought at first that another of the Minutemen had shown up, since it seemed like Colonel Hollis recognized him. The two of them went off to talk with Mayor Jackson in private. Not ten minutes later, the man left, and Colonel Hollis followed him to the wall, shouting about what he would do to deserters. Was that guy one of the Minutemen or not? <sighs> so the Long's son was shot in the leg, and then he died. I wonder if they have any belongings they'd like me to return to them while we're here. Let's see. Um, Nick, you are very lucky that you didn't set that off just now. They didn't, uh, they didn't have a whole lot, but of course the gunners- oh. This is, uh... That's his toy hat. And that toy hat, uh, that's... Okay. 
So, I'll take that back and give it to Dune. His son's hat. Maybe he'll appreciate that. Still haven't found the terminal for the gun shop. Huh. Okay. Nick. Where is the police station? Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's and it's 